We cannot be a Muslim without believing in Jesus and in his miracle birth. Even raising up one from death. But he never claimed that that was a power that came from him. Indeed, all miracles are from the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate, I send prayers and peace and blessings upon our last most noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, on his companions, his wives and family, and those who follow right guidance until the end of time. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Chennai, India, a conference hosted by Peace Vision of Islam about harmony, awareness, and education. A conference, insha'Allah, which will clarify some of the misconceptions about Islam, which many people out there have today due to erroneous media. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome to the stage in Chennai our brother, Sheikh Mutahir Sabri. Sheikh Mutahir Sabri is a contract imam for the Federal Bureau of Prisons and formerly a full-time Muslim chaplain for the South Carolina Department of Corrections. He has been active in Dawah since 1976. Sheikh Mutahir reverted to Islam soon after giving up an aspiring career as a professional jazz bassist in 1976. His experience also includes serving as principal of an Islamic schools, imam and assistant imam of the Islamic centers, and addiction counseling. Originally from Washington, D.C., Sheikh Mutahir currently resides in Columbia, South Carolina, where he serves as the Dawah coordinator of the Islamic Center of Columbia and is also a member of the Majlis Ashura. Sheikh Mutahir holds a BA degree in International Studies from Trinity College of Hartford, Connecticut. Currently, he is pursuing a degree in Islamic and Arabic Studies at the American Open University. Ladies and gentlemen, speaking on the topic, the birth of Jesus was a miracle. Sheikh Mutahir Abdullah Sabri. I give you the podium and the stage. Jazakumullah khairan ya akhi. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya shinai. La ilaha illallah. You know, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said whoever says assalamu alaykum, he gets ten hasana. And whoever repeats that or responds to that also gets 10 hasanat. And if he says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, then the reward is tripled. Now I need reward. I don't know about you. So I'm going to try it again, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. نستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس تقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة 
وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فاعلموا ان خير الكلام كلام الله وخير هدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشار الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثات بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار really all praises for allah we praise him we seek his help and his forgiveness we believe in him and place our trust in him and him alone and i seek refuge with allah from the evil of my actions and from myself whomsoever allah guides no one can misguide him after allah and whomsoever allah leaves in error there is none that can guide him after allah i give the open testimony that there's none worthy of worship except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highly exalted is he over his creation and i give the open testimony that muhammad ibn abdullah may the peace and blessings of allah be upon him is his final prophet and messenger for all time to come o you who believe have taqwa for allah the taqwa that is due to him and to the best of your ability and do not die unless you are muslim o humanity reverence your guardian lord who has created you from a single person and from him his mate and from them too many men and women and fear your lord through whom ye demand your mutual rights and respect the ties of kinship and the wombs that bore you and allah is an ever watcher over you o oh, you who believe have taqwa for allah the consciousness respect and reverence that is due to him and to the best of your ability and always speak a word directed to the right for he will forgive you your sins and set right your affairs and whoever obeys allah and his messenger has indeed gained a magnificent achievement as to what follows my dear brothers and sisters in islam and guests we must know that the best speech is the speech of our creator almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the best guidance is the guidance of the prophet muhammad ibn abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam about whom allah azza wa jalla has said in the quran laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana liman kana yarju allah wa yawmil akhirah wa dhakra allah kathira that verily in the messenger of allah you have the most excellent model for him whose hope is in meeting allah in the last day and who remember allah much and we must know that the worst of all affairs are the newly invented matters or innovations in the religion of islam for every newly invented matter innovation whether it be an addition to or a subtraction from this deen of islam it is a wicked going astray and every going astray is misguidance and every misguidance is in the fire and we seek Allah's protection from that my dear brothers and sisters our topic tonight the miracle birth of Isa ibn Maryam Jesus the son of Mary alayhi salam why is this topic so important for the muslims today you see because many many non-muslims and particularly in the country from where i came who don't understand anything about islam they don't know that we believe in jesus isa ibn maryam so we as muslims have an obligation to let them know that yes we do believe in isa ibn maryam jesus the son of mary this man called Jesus, Isa, the son of Mary, is one of the most significant men to have ever walked the earth. And indeed, we know that of all of the prophets and messengers of Allah, five of them stand out. And Nabi Nuh, Noah, and Nabi Ibrahim, the prophet Abraham, the prophet Noah, and Nabi Musa, Moses, and Nabi Isa, Ibn Maryam, 